Welcome back to That Simple Guide. In today's guide, we're going to take a look at how to play Clash Royale on a PC or laptop. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing because my goal is to eventually reach 100,000 subscribers for the silver play button. All right, let's get right into it. So first, let's open up our browser and let's go ahead and type in Google Play Games. And then right here, the first result, play games on our Windows PC platform. Let's click on that. And then right here, you can download the beta version. It's currently in beta, but uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and download that. And then once it's done downloading, let's go ahead and uh, double click it to install. So then right here, you can change the location if you want to. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And then on the security pop up, I'm going to have to select yes. And as you can see, it now asks me to sign in with my Google account. So let me click on sign in. So as you can see, that sent me to the browser and I'm going to have to enter my email address. So let me do that real quick and click on next. Now I'm going to enter my password. So this is a security question to make sure it's the official Google Play Games app. So since I'm sure that I downloaded it from Google, I can go ahead and click on sign in. And if you haven't created a Google Play Games profile yet, it's going to ask you to create one here. So it just wants me to create a username and accept the terms and privacy. And that's pretty much it. So let me do that real quick. Okay, and so once it's done installing, we can go ahead and click over here on the search icon and then search up uh, Clash Royale and right here and then we can install Clash Royale on Play Games and let me add a desktop shortcut as well and it may have asked you somewhere throughout this process to enable virtualization or it might not have but if you now click on play and the game doesn't quite run as intended in one way or another you might want to enable virtualization because that might fix your issues and because it's quite different from device to device it's probably best if you look up and it's something you generally have to enable in your bios and once you've completed your free training matches you can also sign in with your Supercell ID in order to sync an account you've previously played on, for example from your phone, by going up here to this hamburger menu and into settings. And then right here you can connect your Supercell ID. But yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.